what's up everybody my name is Mike Wise coming to you live today from this beautiful city landscape in Warsaw Poland so before we get started in this video there's two things I need to tell you first and foremost is I'm going to show you one of the simplest ways to make an effective medicine and so today we're going to show you how to make a tincture out of cannabis we're going to show you how to make lotions and we're also going to show you how to make an edible edibles out of tincture I mean out of cannabis um, so the first thing I got to say before I get into it is there's a hundred maybe even a thousand different ways you can do what I'm going to show you to do um, I like to teach you guys the simplest easiest way and then once you learn this way you can learn your own different techniques and change things if you want and alter things and make it your own little recipe um, the second thing I'm going to tell you today is that this is a second episode so the prerequisite to this episode is learning how to make cannabis oil with Mike Weiss, me. Um, so you have to watch that video before you can watch this one because you're not going to understand how to make this cannabis oil which is the main ingredient um, for all three of the things we're going to be making today um, so if you haven't seen that video go watch it now if you have seen that video well you're further ahead than some of these other people um, the other thing is I know a lot of people can't get access to this oil at home so I also make it you can buy it for me oglabsgenetics.com but you need some oil regardless whether you make it whether you buy it for me whether you buy it from someone else you need some oil first before you do anything re regarding making a tincture making a lotion or making an edible the way I'm gonna teach you today okay so the first thing we're gonna go into is tinctures so to make a tincture the way I'm going to teach you today is to use hemp seed oil and high THC cannabis oil, CBD oil, um, whatever type of raw form of paste oil, um, thick oil that you want to use. And so it's actually very simple. Let me just show you. Besides that, you'll also need pot and a hot plate. So the first thing you'll end up doing is you're going to put everything you're going to put your hemp seed oil into your hot plate. So, they normally have lids on it. Let's see if I can pop this one off. I forgot about these things. And to take the little lid off, it's easier to pour. And go ahead and pour it in into your um, pot on top of your hot plate. And so hemp seed oil is carrier oil is kind of what they refer to it as. Um, it's golden in color, so a lot of the other people you see out there, they'll make tinctures with hemp seed oil, they'll make it with MCT oil, is another popular one. Um, I like hemp seed oil because it's from cannabis already, so um, that's basically what's going to give it the golden color, and that's how it's going to turn this dark brown color into something completely gold, and you won't see any dark brown in it at all. And basically, once you have everything in there, I'm actually putting a lot uh, today in because I'm going to be making a big batch. Um, but once you have your hemp seed oil in there, this pot's already hot. The hot plate's hot. Let it warm up. Once it's warm, go ahead and uh, put all your oil into the pot. And so basically, you're going to keep this heated on the lowest setting you can um, on your hot plate. I'd say uh, don't go above 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The oil that we're using is already active, so you don't need to decarboxylate um, any further during this process. Um, I'll go ahead and add some more of this in there. And basically what you want to do is you want to stir Make sure everything mixes nicely. And we're actually going to let this heat up, I'd say for about anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes would be a good time on a low heat. Alright guys, we're back. We've let this pot been heating for about 10, 15 minutes now at 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 27 degrees Celsius. So that's kind of where I like to keep it. It doesn't need to be too hot, like I said. Your oil's already active before you put it in there. So you just want it to mix up good with the hemp seed oil, your carrier oil. 
And so this is kind of what it will look like if you want to check it out. And another handy thing that you can get are these droppers, bottles, glass bottles with droppers is what they call them basically. And um, that's what a lot of people use. And you can kind of just, if you want to see what it looks like in the close up view, you know, you have it right here. And you can see it's got that nice golden amber color, you know. And so that's pretty much it. There you have it. You have your own tincture that you made yourself at home. It's a very simple process to do. Anyone can really do it. So now go out, do it yourself, have fun, give it to all your friends. That's what I'm going to do with this batch. So we'll see you in a little bit when we're going to show you how to make a lotion, skin lotion. Now we're going to show you how to make a lotion and skin lotion is really great comes in handy for a lot of conditions skin conditions skin cancer is one of the main ones um, basically we're going to make a simple skin lotion with cannabis oil and organic coconut oil and uh, once it's done you can just apply it topically on any kind of skin condition that's ailing you so the first thing you do is you're going to need a hot plate a pot coconut oil organic preferably and cannabis oil and you need a spoon so once you have your spoon you're going to scoop all the coconut oil out of your can and put it into your pot and the pot is going to be on the hot plate same thing as we did last time lowest setting possible i'm going to say don't go above 80 degrees fahrenheit which is 27 degrees celsius around there uh, you want to stay below that so you're going to be putting your coconut oil into your pot and it's going to turn into a liquid once it turns into a liquid we're going to do basically the exact same thing we did with the tinctures and the hemp seed oil we're going to combine the cannabis oil and let it heat together and so there's going to be a lot of people asking me well how much coconut oil should i put for how much cannabis oil and that's a really good question and I can't answer it. Every person's gonna need something pretty much different depending on what condition you're treating. Um, I will pretty much always recommend to use a high THC oil if you're treating skin cancer um, or any other kind of uh, terminal condition. So um, anything to do with skin um, or anything with lotion. I've heard all sorts of things. People put this on their tumors and uh, it also helps besides taking the oil orally they apply it topically onto their tumors and it helps shrink them. So there's a lot of cool things you can do with this. And it's, as you'll see, it's really simple to make also just like the tinctures were. All right, so as you can see, your coconut oil is starting to turn into a liquid. It should happen fairly quickly. As you can see, I'm just using my fingers and my hands without gloves to make this. This is a personal batch for myself of skin lotion. I'm trying to use it to get over some burns and, you know, just uh, keep it on the shelf in case I need it for something later. Um, but I always recommend if you're making this medicine for patients to definitely use gloves, just like we did in the previous video of how to make cannabis oil. Now, as you can see, all the coconut oil has turned into a liquid. Check it out. So this is when we'll add the cannabis oil in. And so now we're going to do pretty much the same thing we did with the tinctures. We're going to let this heat 80 degrees Fahrenheit, about 27 degrees Celsius, um, for 10 minutes. And that would be just about enough time to be all that you need. So we'll see you in 10 minutes. Alright, so we've let our coconut oil, cannabis oil mixture heat for the last 10 minutes. And now as you can see, it's turned into a nice golden colored liquid. Check it out. So what you're going to do is you're just going to get your coconut oil bottle that you used before, your empty one, and pour everything back in it. It might be a little warm. I let this jar cool down, this pan cool down so it's not so warm in my hands. If you do this immediately after you pull it off of the, the hot plate, it's going to be too hot to hold. So don't hold it. 
if you did it that way. I let this cool a little bit while it's still a liquid. And it'll pretty much stay a liquid, which is not what we want. Um, we're trying to make a skin lotion. So now what we're going to do is you're going to put your cap back on this. The freezer is actually my preferred place to put your cannabis oil, coconut oil mixture into so it'll turn back into a solid. It'll take an hour or two, but we'll see what happens. And just like that, you have a skin lotion, something you can apply to your skin on any area that's affected to treat it with cannabis oil topically. See you guys next time. I'm out. Okay. Now, what we're going to do for the last video, the last part of our video, is we're going to show you how to make some edibles. Um, so, there's pretty much two simple, basic ways to make edibles. Uh, one is with vegetable oil, and the other way is with butter. They're both basically the same uh, basic recipes. Most people already know how to do it with butter. People, some people I know have never even heard of doing it with vegetable oil, which is actually the way I prefer. It makes better brownies, which was the first way I learned when I was in high school. Um, but it just, I don't know, it tastes better when you're putting oil in recipes than butter sometimes, I think. So, uh, we're going to show you how to do it this way, with some uh, vegetable oil and some cannabis oil that we made previously in the last video on how to make cannabis oil. So, just put all your vegetable oil in your pan and then you're going to let it heat up and it's as you're going to see pretty much exactly the same process that we did on the previous two uh, parts of this video so really you're going to be pretty much an expert you know a medical cannabis expert to be able to make edibles tinctures and lotions all at your home all with simple basic kitchen appliances you know, you can do this yourself. You don't need to have some big fancy machine like some of these big companies, cannabis companies tell you. And uh, that's one of the coolest things I've learned in this whole journey of medical cannabis and, you know, making different products. And now you guys can go on this journey. So you put your vegetable oil in there, get your cannabis oil, and add it in. Alright, so we're just going to let this simmer here on a low heat. I'm going to say again, 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 27 Celsius, and again, 10 minutes. The oil is already activated, so you don't need to reactivate it. You just want it to mix up with your carrier oil. So we'll come back when that's done, and we'll finish the video. So we've let this simmer on a low heat for the last 10 minutes, and now as you can see, it's all mixed together really nicely, just like with the skin lotion. And another thing I did mention when making the skin lotion, as you can see, if you want to go ahead and come in, is that there's no particles when you mix it. And that's how you know the oil is completely mixed in. So normally I put it back into the vegetable oil bottle, the plastic one. Uh, you just got to make sure you let it cool down. So if you put this into plastic, when it's hot, the plastic's going to shrink and it's all going to leak out everywhere and you're going to ruin your meds. So I definitely recommend to use glass and uh, that's what we'll do right now. Okay, so I always recommend to use a funnel when you're doing this, but I'm pretty good at pouring it, so I'm just going to do it like this. And there you have it. Now you have an edible oil, you know, that you can make edibles with and infuse into any type of edible you like. So you can make it with olive oil, you can make it with vegetable oil, you can do it with sunflower oil. Olive oil is great for pastas, sunflower oil is great if you want to fry some french fries. Um, and vegetable oil is just all around great. I like to use it for brownies, that's one of my favorites. But um, as you can see, now you have learned how to make edibles, you've learned how to make tinctures, and 
you've learned how to make skin lotion. So you're pretty much an expert. So have fun when you're doing this. Remember to be safe and go out there and experiment. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for tuning in. The healers have become the harmers. They're just pharmaceutical farmers. What we used to call dealers, we now call doctors. They don't care about patients, they care about.